nothing doing. Sammy Riggs. Listening, what do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. Got an ill-looking mm. Spot a cider for you? Or... I'd like to take a look. Tails. 
Mrs. Whitlock, you know, be glad whore. You surprised? They've tried to dance with a witcher. <laughs> I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor Maid Bilberry, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste. But I have 99 left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well... Why... Um... Then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry is the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend! Stand and fight! You know, I yield. Had enough? Yes, luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet. Challenge me again. Raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. a customer not about to buy anything from you oh, afraid you're mistaken if we're to let you pass you gotta pay and if I don't <laughs> then you die see this medallion uh, gaffer gaffer shut it so back I now I see it we didn't mean no... Recognize the guild? Aye, master. Forgive us for not remarking on it earlier. Please. Gaffer! Gaffer! Now listen. Might pass through again someday. Don't know when. But when I do, I don't want to run into you. That clear? As a summer's day, my lord. God speed you on your path. Gaffer! Gaffer! 
What is it now, Solbeck? Gaffer, he's a witcher. Solbeck. What? Shut it. <laughs> That's it, Roach. went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked them blood him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zamek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. You could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You can't see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They're dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Anyone else here, besides you? Meaning who? Someone who might have seen the woman. Like the six-eyed tree? Tree slapped all year. But there is Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? Nay, <laughs> I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you 
darling girl. Oh, kids are so sweet. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shack. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. Had about enough of this. Asked a simple question. You seen the woman or haven't you? Fear not, children. There's no to fear, Gran. He's only angry because he cares. Maybe Johnny knows something. I'll take him to Johnny before he goes barmy on us. Johnny's your invention, and you shouldn't be using those ugly words. To the hut. Go on now. You'll stand in the corner, I'll make sure you do. And you, stop scaring the little ones. Now go. Be gone. Come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Suit with scratchings. You here? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must, too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so, and Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us, and we'll disappear. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Is there something else you need or want? 
Oh, I want something sweet. And me too. Oh, fruits. Give us a treat and we'll help you. Here's some treats. Yum. Never eaten nothing like this before in my life. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Others were killed. Like mine. One day, they went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then laughing. Went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled. And the soldiers laughed. Laid my pot down by the barn door. Is it clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking. He saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around, you'll see him.
small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Johnny? Don't be afraid. start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. to me.
This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. Piper, Pit, Prince, Proximo, Peck of Pickle Peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a clock. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village. Because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out. 
A smudger! A smudger! I'm sick, there are dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. As soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me.
Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazes, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You. You got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Can you take me to the crowns? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, it is not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad, though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever too. Where have you been hiding, boy? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Yeah. Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Downwarren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. 
Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen head need. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The Orderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger for you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone eyes, stone ears. Ah.
Greetings. Nice village. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? I winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the ladies' help. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't you treat this evil light. <laughs>